And for you as a captain and uh, having seen the turnout when you had to go abroad, well, you know, we heard Rod talk about this. Right. What are your expectations and what do you hope for in terms of support here stateside? Well, uh, I think that um, whether it's home or away, it's really nice for these young men to play in front of as many people as possible. Uh, the bigger crowds do add to the event. And I will tell you, that Sunday afternoon in Ireland, somewhere between 11 and 13,000 people were around that last green, and that was, uh, you know, that's an event of a lifetime. I mean, you, the, you don't forget those things. And I think that opportunity is here, and I'm hopeful that we will be able to stir up enough interest that we will get a lot of people out here because it really does, you know, it's a small group. Uh, it's match play. Um, you go from four groups on the golf course to three groups on the golf course to two groups on the golf course. Things begin to pile up, and it really gets special at the end with all those people. So, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And the ki- and you know the kids really love playing in front of those people. So it, I'm hopeful that we'll get a big crowd. And you're rattling off some of the members of your team, and it's it's just interesting to see that you know these where, where they go from there. And you know, Dustin Johnson, Cole right. mentioned him. You know Brian Gay, who you know, right. made our uh, broadcast over the weekend not all that traumatic. Uh, he was that good. He was a former Walker Cupper, played in I believe 1993. And I, uh, if I have my facts straight, I think he played against Padraig Harrington in a singles match, and they have it. But it's a chance, don't you feel, for a lot of people to really see the future of the game, and also to be able to step foot and walk with all the history of Marion when they come. Yeah, the well, the matches are are uh, are provide that opportunity yep. to get up close and personal, yep. which is unique. Uh, when we had the amateur, you know, they're now letting the players walk. It's a little bigger field. This is international, which adds a flavor to it that, that you know, most Americans don't get to see. So I think from that standpoint, uh, it certainly is unique. The other thing, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the, the way these matches were started. These matches were started in the early 20s to promote international goodwill between the United States and the countries in Europe. Uh, after World War II, that's the foundation. Or World War One, excuse me, that's the foundation of the uh, of the match. So, um, you know, it's that kind of spirit that's kind of lasted all through time to that camaraderie to try to bring everybody together, and it kind of builds on itself. And I think that you don't get that in any other event, even the Ryder Cup, which is a very commercial uh, version, maybe of what we have here. Uh, doesn't quite get the same same feeling, so uh, I think that the members here will be uh, anyone who comes here will be treated to that kind of environment, and they'll see something a little different. 